All right, everyone, welcome back. Hold the thing of Blade Reviews. Arms and Armor Danish War Axe. This one's really, really sweet. If you want, check out the other axe review we did, Hungarian War Axe. Go ahead and check out the previous videos of this one we're doing. So this one's a little bit more than plexus height. I have my sternum here. It's a gigantic axe head on this one. Also an ash handle. We'll do some up close looks at it, some specs on it, and then we'll actually do some cut testing out to Tommy with this axe. All right, overall length on this one, the handle, it's an ashwood handle, 57 inches. So it's right at my breastbone, right at my sternum, me being six feet tall. This one is actually a perfect size for this type of axe. The blade length is 10 inches. We have a very pronounced blade edge here, so it's a little curved. That way that you can pull this through on the slashes, not gonna get stuck as easy. You also have this big little angle right here. So if you were to hook onto something, pull that in and shove the tip of the weapon into their face, which is also really good for the holidays. But and we're coming out to the carbon steel axe head as well. Excellent, excellent design here. They model this stuff after things that they found from artifacts and also just other museum replicas as well. They're not museum replicas, they're functional items, but the actual build of them is from ancient designs. So arms and armor, like I said before, the Hungarian axe. They make my favorite axes out of anything that we carry here at Cult Athena. So you get what you pay for as far as these go. These are excellent quality. Uh, going into it from here, like I said before in the Hungarian, the handle is not circular, it's flat. So if I walk this all the way up, it's right in line with the cutting edge, which is really, really great because I'm finding that even on here on the Tommy mats, if I'm using this Something like a short spear, like you could play it out here. You could play up top as well if you want to cut. But if you're coming out to here, having the flat handle and you pull through this out, that puts the tip right out of line with the center. If I have a circular handle, I don't quite know where the blade edge is. See, I'm off. My wrist is all in a wacky position. So that means I can slide this up and pop that right away and not worry about missing my shot or I can hook this around and then come into the thrust as well. So, a little weird when you have a little piece of tatami map penduluming around, but just to give you an example of that, really good on the thrust still, really precise. You also have the little slashes as well as you come out, or you got the little parries, or you can hook it as well. So, feels really good. Really, really good weight. A little bit around three pounds. Doesn't feel like it, to be honest with you, because it's so properly balanced. Um, you could probably swing it a little bit wider as well, if you have the space for that. Mostly shots like that are used more for clearing. They're not something you would do in close quarters. You could even be short here and then pop that out or start out short and then extend that out for a longer shot if your opponent was trying to get out. And also you have the protection of the umbrella up top or the thrust out as well. So. Axes are pretty sweet. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm really, I'm really hyped on these. They're a really great company. Um, we're gonna do some up close looks at this really quick to see the detail. Then we're gonna do some cut testing on the tatami. Let's do it. Let's see what they actually did. Damn. That was just a hack. We're halfway through. All right, let's prop it back up really quick and then uh, finish this one out.
Okay, that was a more extended one, and it basically split it all the way in half. All right. In case you're wondering, this is what a sweat thrust looks like. Uh, not really that visually appealing, so let's just finish it with a cut. Ooh. See that? So you how sharp it is right there. All right, so thanks for joining me for this video. We went to the Danish war axe from Arms and Armor. This is a close look, some specs on it. Really simple as far as design goes, but highly, highly functional. Excellent point of balance as well. If you like this axe and you're looking for something for the holidays or just something for your collection in general, you also have the Hungarian war axe that we just did a review on for this month. This one also has a review with cut testing and off close looks. You'll see they're a little bit shorter. You want something with a little bit more punch. Perhaps you want the Danish War Axe right here. You want something more versatile for thrusting and slashing as well as you come through. You might also want that Hungarian Axe as well. If you like either of these and you want to see something else, subscribe to the channel, like this video, let me know what you want to see in the comments below, and I'll talk to you soon.